shame about Wimbledon and the Yankees, but you've got to make choices. Maybe made the wrong choices. There's no such thing <laughs> as a wrong choice. Anyway. You make a choice based in what's in front of you. No regrets. Get on with it. I mean, what was in front of us was Wimbledon, it's clear. <laughs> but... <laughs> Team Tweety, I hope you're all super well. We got the man, Papa Tweety. You ready for today's video? I'm ready. It's exciting. Oh, a bit of a different one. So right here, we got, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Every trophy that I have received since the age of five. In saying that though, there's definitely a few here that, you know, they're not, they're missing. Probably. Yeah. So look, we're just going to go through them. I'm just going to pick him. We might talk about him if Papa Tweety remembers something. A trip down memory lane. Yeah. So, Mossman Soccer Club Gala Day 2004 Under 7 winners. Whew. Oh, that was one of the biggest days ever. Wow. I could talk about that all day. Give us a sneak peek. Well, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> it was, I think it was about eight minutes per half. In oh the, wow! In the first round game, I think we were two 0 down at half time, yeah. and in the second half of eight minutes, you scored three goals, and we got through. Wow! And then I remember the semi final, we won on corners, <laughs> and then in the grand wow. final, it was nil all, incredibly tense, hundreds of people on the sidelines, parents cheering, going crazy, and about halfway to through the second half. You kicked a goal from about two metres over halfway. Oh, wow. It was amazing. Jeez. A great and, day. And one up for the team. One up for the team. Now we're going to switch it up straight away. We got this one here. Mossman Baseball Club Under 7 Pelicans, 2002-2003. Have a look at that puppy. Very good. What, why do I, I play T-ball? <laughs> oh, because we wanted you to do more than just one thing. And... It was really interesting because <laughs> you were very good at hitting the ball and it just shows that a lot of skill at football is about the brain and the and foot eye. eye combination and in this case the hand eye combination. You were good at that. Should I have pursued it? Yeah, you probably should have pursued that and you'd probably be playing for the New York Yankees right now. Probably, really. I'm sure. Uh, this is going off the same as the last one, so Mossman under seven Karawongs 2004, Sheldon Tweedy. The mighty Karawongs. Yeah. Great look, team. Look, we didn't have the best, best team. Best team you ever played for. <laughs> we didn't have the best team. I don't think any of them actually play football anymore. No, probably not. No. I, I've had a look through. So we're doing this by ages. I don't... MS... Oh, Mossman Soccer Club again. Echidnas under eights 2004. Uh, the Echidnas was a team where... You were actually in the under sevens, and I'm pretty sure you played up in the Echidnas as well. Ah. So there were a couple of seasons there where we would, you'd play under sevens. Ah, yeah, both 2004. And I would drive like a madman across <laughs> across the city to get you from one game to another. Wow, there you go. So that was from the same Cause year. Because there's never too much football, is there? No, you can't. And then, so, this was the year after them with the Currawongs. Oh, Again, I yeah. The Currawongs. Yeah. 2005, and then, oh, you might know something about this, because I sure don't. Mossman Soccer Club Gala Day 2005, under eight, runner-up. What, what happened that oh, day? Oh, I remember that <laughs> day. Remember I, a peek on this remember, I said, remember I said that in the under sevens, we won on corners. Yeah. And when it came, and that was against, I think they were called the Kookaburras. The following year, they remembered you. Oh, And we no played way. them that year. We met them in the grand final, and they targeted you. Oh. They just <laughs> smashed you to pull the lumber. Jeez! Out. So with about seven minutes to go, we needed you to score a goal to win or something, or to even. Yeah. And they just flattened you. I mean... Ruthless. Yeah, at that age, I was... Miles above everyone else, or just a uh, lot further? Not entirely, but because they weren't graded teams, so there were yeah. a lot of social players. And anyway, I, that and that I was did, a tough day. Yeah, that Dad and I did so much work away from actual playing, I was bound to be better because I put yeah, the extra hours right. in. Simple. 
2005-2006 Mossman Cricket Club. I had a year of cricket. A few years yeah, of cricket. More than a year of cricket. <laughs> Again, we were trying to make you into a well-rounded person. If, my, if I had my time again, you probably wouldn't have played t-ball or cricket, <laughs> just football. But anyway. And I'm not sure if this is mine. It might be Locks, my brother. Under nine's bowling award for that year. I don't know. It could be Locks. I think that might be Lachlan's. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I put it down there. Under nine's 2005. No, probably you. Yeah, I don't know. It was pretty good. Uh, so this one was awesome because... The ball actually oh, spun. Amazing. <laughs> How That's incredible. High quality. <laughs> yep. Solid gold as well. Mossman FC again, 2006. Under nines, Leopards. Div 1. That was another one where you were playing up in the Leopards. Yeah, and see, I don't have another trophy there, so... See, that was a great one. Yeah, I definitely lost one somewhere. So that was better when I went up. Was that the team where I scored a hat-trick? Going, and yeah, I think it might have been. Yeah, I went in after my game. Went, I think I scored a hat trick. No, that was different. Oh, okay, well, we'll get to that. Um, I want to leave that one under nine greens junior cricket. So I had another year of cricket, bigger trophy. Cricket. Wow, and then for some reason, I played for two teams that year as well. Cricket, yeah, really 2006, 2007, 2006, 2007. Maybe I was that good at cricket. Maybe I just... you stole someone else's trophy. Maybe that too. <laughs> now this one, this is probably this is my most prized possession. Sure. Under nine Stingrays 2006 Mossman Junior Rugby Club. Look at this. Whew. Give us the story behind the trophy, mate. So, how old were you? Under nines. Under nines, I would have been. Oh yeah, that was the last year of right. ungraded football. So, if, soccer was still not too serious. Yeah. And. You really wanted to play rugby, I and I didn't want you to. <laughs> and your stepmom at the time convinced me that it'd be a good idea for you to play rugby, so then you could get it out of your system, get yeah. it over and done with. And you went and played, <laughs> and you realised, firstly, that you weren't as good at rugby as you were at football. And secondly, in rugby, you're a little guy, and the big guy smashed yeah. you. So you did get it out of your system. Uh, you were pretty good at running on the wing. No, I'll never forget the one thing I had. I got to a game late because I had a football game. Yeah. Went to this game. A guy, because I was so small, a guy, one of those big built guys, I was full back, broke through the line and started running at me. And I did this wimp tackle where I kind of just put my hands on him and moved to the side and he just ran through his score. <laughs> I'll never forget just looking at your game. Oh, if I'm they not thought you were too small for... Football, you were definitely too small for rugby. Oh, shocker. Anyway, at least you didn't get killed. Yeah, so this one, Extreme Tennis Academy, Tennis Camp 2007, oh, doubles You were such an all-rounder, everything. I was a decent tennis player. Yeah, you were okay at tennis. In fact, you shouldn't have played football. You'd probably be playing at Wimbledon if you'd kept it <laughs> tennis. Um, here we go. So The then... choices, the choices, like I talked about yesterday. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Junior Mixed Division Best and Fairest Award. They're always a good one to win. Under 10s, Div 1. <sighs> got of course love you it. got Best and Fairest. I think I was the fairest. coach. <laughs> <laughs> you were too. I was a coach. You too. And you know what? My great coaching career. I'm not sure that we actually won any <laughs> games in the whole season. Really? Despite having Sheldon, we lost. Oh, no. So I gave up coaching after that, never again. Okay, so that was the end of Mossman, and then I made it into Manly United. So we have one trophy here, Manly Warringah FA Under-11s 2008, Metro League, bit, you know, a bit more fancy trophy. Yeah, that was the beginning of rep football. Now it gets really serious. Yeah, but... Training three times a week, playing very competitive games, a whole huge step up. At the, sum, at the same time, again, I amazes me why I didn't pursue my tennis career. Primary Schools Challenge, Term 2, 2008, runners up, except I broke it. You broke it. <laughs> <laughs> you broke the tennis yeah. ring, it's not the trophy. Well, yeah, I should have. That should've... says a lot. <sighs> anyway, so then the next year I got dropped from Manly United. Yeah. So I got a bigger trophy. <laughs> yeah, that's right, the biggest of them all. Uh, 2009, so I played up a year. I'd never played under 12s, so I played under 13s, Div 1, knockout winners. So that was Evil. back at the uh, club level or park football, and you set up the winning goal yeah, in the grand for final. For some reason, I have this plaque. I think you got this custom made. Me, me and the dad of the 
um, striker. Uh, the guy that scored the goal made these cust got these custom made blacks done. Have a look at what it's. We says. were so excited. Oh, what a pass! What a goal! Yeah, I still what remember. A, what a pass! What a goal! How do you know that? Because <laughs> I remember it clear as day. And, and you who know passed the, to him? I passed the, to him. You know the story. You you were back in those days. It was unlimited interchange. So you're actually on the bench, and it went to extra time. I think it was one all. Yeah. And there were 60 seconds to go. You would have been called joint winners. There was no oh. penalty shootout. 60 seconds to go. And you come flying down the wing, and Tommy was that striker, and you put the perfect ball in front of the striker, and he scores, and the crowd goes crazy. Do we have video of it? Probably somewhere. Oh, yeah, I, I got to look for that. Uh, then I more tennis again. Runners up primary schools uh, challenge. Uh, why didn't we target Wimbledon instead? <laughs> Idiot! Imagine the money you'd be making now. Yeah. Well, yeah, so that's another tennis one. I think that was my last tennis trophy that I can see. Oh, there's one at the back here. I don't know what this is. More oh, no. tennis. Premier Park name. Tennis Camp point score winner. I don't know if that's mine or what. That's like a, a tournament thing. Yeah. Um, football, under 13 A's, North Sydney Bears. That was when I was with a academy team. Yeah, that was yeah, the AC know. Milan academy thing. Yeah. yeah, not much on that. Then we go, then I make it back into reps and I played for my school that year. Under 14's 2011 finalists. Get a nice fancy trophy there. Oh, uh, um, wait a minute. That's the... That, oh, that's when you made the grand penalties. final. So you're back into reps playing for Gladesville Spirit. Yeah. Make the grand final. <laughs> penalty shootout. Sheldon Tweedy steps up. I slot it home. Kicks the course. first penalty, crowd goes wild, especially me. <laughs> and we lose the penalty shootout. Yeah. Tragic. Shocking. That same year, I think I must have played for two teams again. What's that? Northern Beaches Summer Futsal Association. So oh, futsal. Started playing futsal, under 13 boys and under 14 boys. I got runners up in both. I don't really remember that. But, but they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, they're good trophies. They're, they're actually probably yeah, one of my... Played favorite. a lot of futsal. Yeah. There probably should be more futsal stuff, but I don't know where So then are. I made it into rep futsal. I got this little medallion. Futsal... Actually, I'll keep it in for you guys. Futsal 2011 to 2012 under 14 boys. Oh, yeah, up. lots of rep futsal. But You're that same year... Yeah, that same year. I think this is my only ever coach's award. Oh, for rep football. That's rep right. Rep futsal. Northern Under Tigers. 14 Boys Coaches Award. That's my only other. Yeah, because <laughs> coaches always hated you. <laughs> for what? No, they didn't. And then I stayed at Spirit. That's just another one of those Spirit ones. And what is this? National Australian Futsal Association National Club Championships. 16 Boys Runners Up. Oh, uh, that was the Vikings tournament in, in January oh. where they had teams from all over the country. That's right. And I... you you were runners-up yeah. and you made the All-Stars team. Oh. And you were the second best player at the tournament. And I got... And sorry. the best player yeah. is now playing striker for Brisbane, Brisbane Roar in the A-League. Next up, we got the 2013 Futsal State League boys. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Under-16 Youth League. That's when I made it back into... Manly United. Oh, yeah. So we got one there. Nothing too special. Nothing happened. And then 2014. A beer mug. A beer mug. This one is National Futsal Championships 2014 Youth Men. Oh, that's because you were playing with the men. Yeah, so that was actually the same year as that. And I got the 16 boys runners up, but I also played with the... Men's football as a 16-year-old. Yeah. We've got some good footage of that tournament. Yeah, there is actually, if you go to... Your channel, I think. Yeah. Look up Sheldon Tweedy. What is it? Sheldon Tweedy Futsal. I don't know. Sheldon Tweedy Futsal, I think it's up there. Then to finish this off, we got a big trophy from my school, senior football, Sheldon Tweedy. You've got to credit the school for Bang. giving the best that's, trophy. That's pretty Show sick. Show properly, like the boot and the ball. Ooh. Amazing. But I also have this other plaque, which we don't have here, which was being... Was it voted or... Uh, footballer being, of the year. Yeah, footballer for the of school. the school, whatever. So that's what I got. And that's all the trophies. I mean, there's yeah. definitely a few that are gone, but I don't know. That's a lot. <laughs> Lots of good memories. Shame about Wimbledon and the Yankees, but you got to make choices. Maybe made the wrong choices. There's no such thing <laughs> as a wrong choice. Anyway. You make a choice based in what's in front of you. 
No regrets. Get on with it. I mean, what was in front of us was Wimbledon. It's clear. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, PG, what's up? Make sure you like and share. Subscribe now. Join Johnny. I'll see you in the next video.